So Kiwi Design has sent me three products, the dumbbell controller weights, the Kiwi Design fitness facial cover, and the new controller grips. You can buy all these products in the link in the description with my code HORIZONSVR5 for 5% off your order. All the links in the description are affiliate links, so it helps me out at no extra cost for you. So at the beginning of all these videos, I'm going to tell you what's on my headset at the moment. So I've got the regular headset with the Bobo VR F2 defogger for the lenses. I also have the Bobo VR M2 head strap. I have nothing on the controllers at the moment, just the plain stock controllers, sometimes using the gun stocks. So without further delays, let's open the products. So we've got the pro version of the controller grip covers here. Comes with an instruction manual. Tracking ring protectors for the controllers. Some little foam pads. The actual controller grips themselves. Some backup elastics for the controller grips here. Battery pull out tab replacements. So to get these on, take off the battery cover and grab the grip and then shove it down the throat. Then you pull over, hole onto the little nub here. And then you can loosen the grip by pushing this button and pulling this out or pulling this in. Nice satisfying squishy texture here and a grippy surface on the, on the grip part. And now once these are both on, you can put on the protective rings. And now this protects your controller as well as making it so you can actually let go of the controllers and it stays in your hand. I've reviewed a pair of these in the past, except these ones are bigger. They feel much nicer than the other ones. and they they are much easier to install. So the reason why you take off the battery cover is so you have easy access to the battery inside of here. And you're supposed to put the battery pull out tabs underneath the battery so you can pull it out. Next we have the Kiwi Design fitness facial interface. I have opened all of these boxes before, so that's why they look kind of messy. So it comes with an instruction manual, another Kiwi Design lens protector, a glasses spacer, two of their PU leather facial interfaces, and the Kiwi Design breathable fitness cover, which you can easily just take off, wash, and replace. And also the attachment piece for the Quest 2. So for the glasses spacer, clip it into the piece, and this should add some extra room between your glasses and the lenses. Since these PU leather facial interfaces are the same as I've reviewed before, I won't be showcasing them in this video. But the difference is this new fitness pad. So you just attach it to the Velcro. I am always awful at installing these. Grab your headset and take off the other facial interface. Grab your new one and just clip it into place. And now the cover is fully installed. Next up is the dumbbell weights for the controllers. So I've actually never heard of these until Kiwi Designers made them. So it comes with some dummy weights and a nice pouch for where the dumbbell weights go. These sadly don't work with the controller grips here, so you're gonna have to use one or the other. So to install these, grab the dumbbells and then turn this dial to unscrew it. Tip out all the weights, drop this into the ring, put as many weights as you want in. They can carry three weights max, or if you don't want to use all of them, you can use a couple plus one of the fake weights. You have to have three weights in here, otherwise it won't close. And then you put the back cover on with this little gap here at the bottom until it clips in nicely. Then you grab the screw and tighten it until it's in. And now you have weights on your controllers. So these weights individually are 50 grams and together they make 150 grams. So in one controller, you can add an extra 50, 100 or 150 grams. I recommend getting the dumbbells if you want to increase your fitness game on the Quest 2. Now onto my thoughts about all of these products. Some annoyances I've had with this is that when I'm using the controller and I'm trying to just move my thumb around, it always hits the actual little button there but other than that I love the amount of customizations you have with the amount of weights you can put in or the amount of fake weights you can put in and I feel like it just makes the fitness aspect of VR much better than it already was and it does actually add some heft to it it adds more weight than these AMVR gun grips and if I were to pick one of these as a multi-purpose controller grip, I would pick the Dumbbell Weights by Kiwi Design, only because they have customizable weights with how much weight you can put in. So now I've just put the 50 gram weight in here, and I believe this is, is around 50 grams too. So these feel fairly similar weight-wise, but this does have a squarer controller grip, and this is just the regular one. But this also does jiggle and rattle a little bit. I have done a full review on this AMVR gun grip, and the video is just going to be up there. These Dumbbell Weights cost 36 American dollars, for this or you can get the more expensive $40 with the silicon cover on this. So my final thoughts with these are sometimes the grip does stop this button from extending fully. I know it's just a little, a little minor thing. There's some warping going on in the silicon here 
it doesn't sit flush with the rest of it. Overall, I think this is the best grip I've tried and I'm gonna be using this one in the future. So these controller grips are 42 American dollars or around 47 Australian dollars from the Kiwi Design store. I'd recommend getting this over pretty much any other grip for the Quest 2 because it just feels premium. The materials feel nice. This is also very satisfying to play with and it's inspired by the Valve Index controllers which also uses the same mechanism to adjust. The fitness pad. I'd much prefer this fitness pad over the Bobo VR PU leather interface but I do prefer Bobo VR F2 Air Vent being on here to get rid of the fog from the lenses. So what I might do is I'll just replace the Bobo VR F2's facial interface with this one and have the air vent on the top here because this fitness pad is miles better than the Bobo VR pad because this little end bit here always pokes into my face and makes it feels really uncomfortable. This one is perfect because because it doesn't do any of that. I wouldn't recommend getting this PU leather interface because it's more expensive than the than the VR cover alternative because this come in at 35 US dollars and the VR cover ones come in at 30 US dollars so a $5 difference. With the VR cover offering you only get one pad and the Quest 2 interface. It isn't really necessary to have two because you can just wipe one down and then the other one will just stay in the box for the rest of its life. But I would recommend getting the fitness cover because that is miles better than these leather facial interfaces. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. I'm Ethan. You've been watching Horizons VR. See ya.